Right, I want to show you a free AI content generator. All the things you see here, the images, I can skim through these articles. So all of this was done with AI, right? All the article content, right? All the images you see here, all the in-article images, uh, the content itself, uh, the links, right? In-article links, in-article images. There are also videos, uh, right, that are relevant to what the article is about. So all this, again, was done with AI. And this is totally free, and I'll show you exactly how you can do it too. Again, I want to show you how this look like with all these sections, all this content, again, videos that are relevant, not just to the article itself, but also to the section in which they're included in. And these also have internal links, right? External links that are relevant to what the content is about, right? And down here, for example, you can set up so it has a call to action to your product or service. In this case, it links out to this uh, Shopify store that sells uh, these uh, gardening supplies. So you can, you can do all this for free. Um, you can also click here to post, right? You can post this to your uh, WordPress site, your Shopify store one by one, or if you want, just go here and publish all. And we'll publish all three to your integration. By the way, the integration is uh, can be anything you want, right? The integration can be your WordPress site, Shopify store, Ghost website, Wix, Webflow Blogger, or even Zapier or an external API. Now, how you do this is you go to tryjournalist.com, sign up, create an account, and you get three articles for free. Now, I would say don't use these three modes right here. Simple mode, uh, just give it a URL, description, select how many articles you want. Select the language, right? And it generate con generates content based on, on, on the input right here. The titles mode, you give it titles, like select the language and click generate. Keywords mode, same thing, but you give it keywords, select the language and click generate. Now, you do want to use the advanced mode because this is where, if I scroll down here, you can add videos, right? You can add um, featured images, in article images. You can select the type of images you want. If you want stock photos, uh, Google S3 photos, your own custom images, or AI images. If you do choose AI images, you can select the type, right? You can change here the prompt if you want hyper realistic, Illustr illustrative vector, you can play around with this. Uh, you can also select and enable external links. So again, if this is your article right here, again, it has the featured image, has the table of contents, it has uh, the content itself, it has the images, it has the videos. It's going to have also links scattered through it, right? These are links that link out to, in this case, will scrape the internet for relevant article in your niche and language. So if this article is about finance, right, we'll link out to Investopedia, uh, TechCrunch maybe, maybe Bloomberg, right? All, all these will be relevant. So if this link is in a paragraph that talks about certain topic, the link that it links out to, it's going to be relevant to what this is. So it's not, it's, it, nothing is random, right? There's relevancy here. You can also set up uh, internal links. So just set up your sitemap. And again, on the content you produce, you can have links inside of it that link out to your site's homepage, maybe to your site's contacts page, maybe to your site's uh, another blog page on your site, right? You set this up here, right? And then you can select the article length small, medium, large. You can enable all these sections, the key takeaways, the conclusion FAQs. You can automate your headings or you can just write them for yourself if you'd like. And this is where you set up your call to action again at the bottom of your article right here. It's going to be a section with a call to action to your product or service. That depends on your niche, right? Uh, you can even connect your brand so the content isn't uh, just a generic. So it's a brand tailored, brand specific, um, essentially non-generic AI content that uses your own AI, your own, sorry, brand images, uh, is written in your brand's tone of voice, uses your brand's mannerisms. You can also connect it to web. So the content that's produced is up to date. Um, you can change the creativity levels too. You can change the tone of voice. You can change the point of view, right? You can change all this. You can even give it custom instructions, right? And of course, you can select up here, the generation mode. So once that's all set up, just go down here, Select how many articles you want and click generate, right? That's it. That's how you can generate articles like the one I, I show you. I'll show you here. Here's this is for, for a different niche, right? The other one was gardening. This one is a uh, poker, right? So all this again was done with a, uh, you just go here and publish to my site. All this again, even the images, these look uh, quite quite real. I, I know the next one is, uh, no, this one, maybe this one. Yeah, these ones look quite, look interesting, right? And again, all this with the links, the in-article images, all done for you, even the links here, and also the, the videos, right, uh, that are relevant to what the content is about, all done with AI. This is how you can do it, right? Again, try journalist.com. Now, if you want to go a step further and, of course, pay, you can automate the whole process. You can just go here to Autoblogs, and if you set up an Autoblog, right, you can have the content be generated and published automatically. So you can select how many articles, right, you want to publish every single month, weekday, every 12 or 6 hours, right? Just enable this, and essentially you're connecting Journalist AI with your site, right? And Journalist AI is generating plus publishing content for you. In this case, 80 posts every day. But you can change this around, right? If you want to give, take it yet another step further, you can have it index the content for you on autopilot and also do the keyword research for you and generate content based on the keywords it, it searches for you. And I'll show you this quick, real quick here. To make it the content index, just click your indexers, new indexer, and just connect to Google. And essentially, the content you produce is going to be indexed in Google. To do the keyword research, just go here to keyword monitors, add your site, right? 
at your site here, at your country or language. Uh, and essentially, it's going to happen here. It's going to give you a bunch of keywords that are uh, easy to rank for, that have low SEO difficulty, as you can see here, but some decent search volume, right? And you can produce content or have journalists say, I produce content based on these keywords it found that have low search, uh, low SEO difficulty, again, so they're easy to rank for, but decent search volumes, right? That's pretty cool. This is how you do it. Again, this is a free tool, part of it at least, not all, right? Not all the features are free, but the generation feature is free. You get three articles free, and it's exactly how you can use and leverage these AI tools to generate content for you. Again, this can be used for any niche, any language. Uh, I mean, like I said before, any over 150 different languages, any niche you want, um, cars, uh, dogs, right? Any, anything you can think of, right? You can generate content using this tool. That's it. I'll leave a link for this in the description and also in the pinned comment down below. Try it out. Let me know what you think and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.